Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Twisted Paper Studio. How are you? I hope that you are all well. It is, um, it is Thursday, day 72, you guys. Day 72, oh my goodness. We're getting down to the, oh, I should turn these over. We're getting down to the last parts of the 100 day project. I have honestly thoroughly enjoyed this. It has been such a challenge. And I love it. It's brought me up to speed with myself. Um, it's gotten me um, such a, a larger community. I, 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 I am enjoying this very much. Um, I see new names every day on my channel. I'm so grateful to all of you that I inspire, and I hope to continue. I hope to continue inspiring you. A pumpkin dragon mystery. Didn't, I think we just got this one. That's okay. That's okay. Ha, ha, ha. We're always getting the same cards. Um, pump, pumpkin dragon mystery. Maybe my sister should buy me something else for my birthday. <laughs> so I could share it with all of you. Okay. Mystery. It's a mystery when this round one shows up. Something's coming to delight you and puzzle you too. You may find an old photograph or an old letter. Perhaps a stranger catches your eye. Whatever it is, be prepared to be a sleuth. Solving the riddle will lead you to treasure. That reward might be a new friend, a family member, or reconnecting with past love. This intriguing dragon encourages you to follow your curiosity and investigate all hunches. You hear that, guys? It's a mystery today. It's a mystery. I'll be with my children um, today, so... Uh, that's not a mystery. <laughs> okay, let's, oh, beautiful blessings. Okay, stay on target, Donna, stay on target. Beautiful blessings. Let me see here. I'm going to my comments, and I want to wish beautiful blessings to, oh, here's someone I've never seen before, and thank you for commenting. So, Lolly Bell Designs, creators of Whimsy and Charm. I'm going to have to come and check you out. You look like you have a nice name. <laughs> Thank you for commenting on my channel, Lolly Bell. And, um, huh, little story. I used to play dress up in my grandmother's clothing with my little cousins. And I used to go upstairs because the attic pull downstairs was in my bedroom at my grandmother's home. And I would go upstairs and put on all these clothes and I would come down and pretend I was Aunt Lolly Bell from the attic. <laughs> and they believed it. Okay, so um, I am CC Boop 45. Blessings to you and blessings to Jesse B. Welcome, Jesse. Thank you for joining my channel. Blessings to you. Thank you so much. Um, let's put on our timer and let's get started. I hope this inspires you. Um, I had an idea, so let's just see where it goes. So I'm going to take a few different kinds of paper here. I'm going to take this from this old book. It's it's a very thin rag paper, but it is paper nonetheless, <laughs> and it has some cool font on it. So let's go ahead. We'll take two. I don't know that I'll need that many. And then I have some old, this was in my uh, vintage vines, uh, you know, thrifting. It's the game Canasta for scoring. Canasta or Shast Samba score sheet. Let's take one. I don't know how this is going to work, but we will try it. We'll try it. It might be, it might be too brittle. Let me see. Oh no, I think it. I think it will work. I do. Okay. So let's move forward. And then I have a piece of, I have a piece of ledger paper. <laughs> and that might work too. Okay. So let's get started. My first thought was to take some of these, um, we were working with these stamps the other day. So let's, um, we can work with them again. Why not? Okay. Let's take some of these, um, them on here. Maybe we can do a few at one time. Let's see. Possibly. Possibly I could. I have this sample kit. I, I do plan on using it today. The sample kit. I like it. Um, 
Let's see. Can we fit this one on here? Okay, we can. Whoopsie. That one. And then I have, I think I have some little ones here. Hold on. Oh, I have this one. This blue one that I used the other day. That's good. And then maybe we'll do a blue one. So how are all of you? I hope you are well. Um, hope you're having a good week. <clears throat> it's almost the weekend. Oh wait, no, we can't use those. I thought they were separate like sand pools, but they're not. They're all attached. Um, we could use this one that says record. Possibly. We'll see. Maybe. We probably could use it. Okay, so now I'm going to ink it all up. And, I, of course, I put my inks away. So let me get out some inks. Um, we have black. And we have blue. And I'll get out walnut stain and antique linen. I don't know how the antique linen is going to come out. I guess we can test that. I don't, I don't know. No, it's probably, it's probably not going to come out on the paper very well. I'm going to do a test over here just to see. I hope I'm on camera. I'm just going to test it. Oh, it's very faint. Oh, I like it. <laughs> I like it. I don't know if you could see it. It's very faint on the ledger paper, but it's absolutely what I like. So we're just going to, hopefully no blue will come off. <laughs> Let's go ahead and ink this up, you guys, and see if we can't get multiple multiple done at one time okay so this is antique linen you guys sorry for making a bouncy pouncy noise um let's do this I can do this over here see oh it doesn't matter okay i'm putting this down like that Oh, I love it. It's gorgeous. It's very faint. Okay. And let's do, let's do one up through the numbers. We'll do one through the numbers in this faint antique linen. And then I don't know that it's going to go well on the book page. So I think I'm going to have to do it a little bit darker really don't think. I think it will be too light. We're getting very lucky with this piece of um, <clears throat> piece of ledger paper. So I'm going to do it like half through the numbers and half not. There we go. And I just took, I had a bunch, you can use whatever, if you have any of these plain ones, you can use whatever ones you want and make it how you want it. I'll show you what we're doing. There we go. Oh, I like it. I love that. Okay, that should be enough for this one. Let's do, let's do one on here. I always take out more than I need, you guys. <laughs> I always do that. Um, let's do the walnut stain. It's going to be a bit darker. And that's okay. That's good. We'll be able to see it. Okay. And put it on the book page, just like this. Oh, I love it. It looks cool. Okay, and then we'll do it on this old thing here. This old uh, piece of vintage paper. We'll just, how about we do it in, we'll do it in, we'll do it in walnut stain again. I think it will... I think it will work. If not, then we'll know. <laughs> I hope everyone is well. It's such a rainy, gloomy day here. It's a rainy, gloomy day. Still, do you know, my brother-in-law told me it was snowing in some, in, I don't think there's enough on there. It was snowing in some port of Pennsylvania yesterday. Snowing. Ay, ay, ay. 
Um, let's do it this way. Okay. Oh, I love it. Okay. That's enough now for that. And now, all right, I never put these back right away. I wait till the end of the week, just in case. You never know. I might want to do something else during the week with you all. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to, we did these. I need some numbers now. I do. I need a little bit of numbers. Um, I'm just checking what else I have here. Those are probably too big. Um, works today. No. These might work. We'll just go ahead and use. Oh, wait. Oh, no. The sample. That's what I wanted. Nah, duh. I was like, what? I know I wanted something. Okay, so I'm going to take this little number one here and put it there so I can see where I'm putting it. See where I'm going on the paper. And then I'm going to take these little numbers here. Um, we will do, should we do it in writing? How about we do this one? Here. I think that's how it goes. Oh boy. Should we go this way? I never know. It's hard for me to do things backwards. It's easier for my brain to adjust its own backwards self, but not to adjust to somebody else's backwards. <laughs> okay. Let's make sure it's right. I think it is. And we'll do um, the brown on here. Oh yeah, it's right. I can see it. I can see it that way. <laughs> and we're just gonna put that here. Like that. And then, um, is this one to that? Some of them have the number. Yeah, okay, that already has the number together. So that's good. Hmm. Okay, so we'll go ahead and ink this up. And we'll do that on this one. I'm doing it to one side. Um, and I'll show you why in a moment. I'll just go ahead and do this one. And then, of course, if you guys have, you know, different numbers, you can do, you can do whatever you want. Um, maybe I'll just ink up just part of this number, not all of it. And I'll put it here. And there we go. And I'm going to cut these out, so it's okay if it comes off the, if it comes off the, um, what do you call it, the page, because it'll be cut out. Let's do this one. Let's have a little fun. I think we have some time. Yes, we do. And then, maybe that here. And these are, these are sample. I've, I've been seeing... Other crafters, um, I haven't had time to watch the, um, I have not had any time to watch YouTubes. Um, I think I've caught up with, no, I have not caught up. I think I've caught, um, what are two of 507 Lola House Journals. Hi, Leslie. I've caught a few of hers. I'm very far behind, almost probably about a month and a half behind. <laughs> um, and I have... I think that's it <laughs> and um i've seen on you on not youtube instagram instagram somebody i think had does sam have new stamps do you guys know i a new set i think i think that i saw it somebody well that looks very crooked we don't want it to be I think I saw, no, of course I'm all inked up. I think I saw someone using new stamps of hers. I think so. I'm not certain. Okay. I'm just going to do this one up here. In this one. Okay. All right. And then 
maybe we'll just do that again out there like that all right now these ones have numbers in them sort of and writing on them so i'm gonna leave them they look pretty cool so i'm gonna i'll do these ones over here and i'm just going to get my ink back now it's gonna have some brown on here from when i was just using it but that's okay and we'll just do that here so it's a little tiny bit darker, not too much. I'll do that here. I love this antique linen on the on the ledger page. I hope you guys can see it. it looks so pretty. Very dainty. Has a very dainty look. <clears throat> and we'll just go ahead and do the rest of these there. Maybe I'll uh, I'll put this off like that. And then and put this one off here. We'll just give it the number 11. <laughs> okay. All right. So that part is done. Well, for me it is. You guys can keep going if you do this too. Okay. So now I'm going to put this on the side here. So it's out of the way. Clean up my little mess. These we didn't do. So I could use that for another project somewhere somewhere and then where's my scissors okay I'm gonna cut them out now you guys that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut them out and you don't have to be precise um, you can be <laughs> I'm just gonna cut them out so I did it on some book page ledger page and some old um game paper. You guys could even use like receipt paper. You could do this on copy paper. You don't have to do this in any sort of way like I did. it. Whatever paper you have, you could use. I mean, you can even really do it on a digital. That would be nice too. Um, so I kind of just made these little labels with some numbers on them. And I'm just cutting them out. Let's go. I could have been better with putting my stamps down there a little crooked, but hey, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> there we go. And here's the one where I, I stamped over the edge, so um, you're not going to see it because I'm cutting it off. No one will know. <laughs> And this is just a fun idea. Okay, those that's all scraps. Let's do this one. And cut this out. Mm. Hmm, you could see where my stamp is all crooked. Well, it's curved. This is nice paper, although I can't use it as a page in the book because it it's very old and it and it um, crumbles a little bit for a page anyway. For a label, it's okay. <laughs> so if you go to the thrift stores and the flea markets, just go and look, see if they have any stationery from old the old days. It's fun. It's really fun to get different kinds of papers. And they're very plentiful there because in the uh, flea markets and the yard sales and things, because people, they don't use the old, they use new. We get all the good stuff. <laughs> okay, let me check my time. No, we're doing okay. We are. Okay, so now we have those, and then we'll do some from here. I'm gonna mm, 
We have those. And then we have these. The ones with the numbers on them. There we go. And put that over to the side. Or over to the side. And let's see how... Maybe we'll just do a few here. This is very nice paper. And I really, really love the way that the antique linen looks on it. I love it. It looks very um, delicate and classy. It honestly looks like it was meant to be there. If I didn't just stamp that, I would think that that's how it came. Okay. There we go. I'm going to do this one. Pause my time. Oh, I'm doing pretty good, you guys. I am. Okay. There we go. And then this one. I hope that I will be home um, soon. I mean, today. I, um, this is today is Thursday. I'm with my boys now, but I'm thinking I will be home. Okay. So now these have the numbers on them from the ledger. So I didn't, I didn't stamp any numbers on them. We're just going to use these numbers from the ledger. And you can also do this with digitals, you guys, if you have um, ledger paper on digital and you want to just stamp on it. Maybe, um, maybe you can print it out with linen paper. That would be nice. These are my, I didn't have it very stamped very good. This one, very, very faint. You might not use that one. It doesn't look like anything. It doesn't look like a label, you guys. <laughs> We want labels. Okay. Almost done. And then I show you what my plan is. So pretty. I can probably use some of these scraps here. These scraps of this for my twisted tangles. I could probably use some of it. And then the rest will go into paper making. This one didn't come out so well. So I'm just going to put it to the side. So now I have these little labels here that I put these numbers on. And my next thought. You guys. <laughs> my next thought. Let me get a pair of scissors. I need a pair of scissors. And I need a stapler. So let me see where's my stapler. Hold on. Hmm. Where'd go? Where'd you go, you beautiful little stapler? Where did you go? Oh, here you are. Okay. So I have my stapler. My stapler, my scissors, and my labels. And now I thought, how much fun, how much fun would it be to take your laces? <laughs> you guys know what I'm doing now. Take some laces and... You can take, there we go, piece of lace, and just fold this in half, where the number is, where you stamp the number, and then just put it one, like that. Look how dainty and beautiful, don't you guys think so? Let's take some more. I mean, some of my things might not be very old. Some might be. And I'm just going to fold this up. And put that right on there. Like that. And pull this table. How cute. I love 
love it. Let's see what else I have. I have some yellow. Let's do that one. Um, we'll fold it over. Where I stamp the number is I'm going to put it in the front. I'm going to cut there. Oopsie. And then staple. How cute, you guys. Isn't that cute? Okay. And then if you, even if you have new laces, uh, you can do this with new laces, you guys. You don't have to do this with vintage. If you don't have vintage, you can buy all different kinds of things on sale at Hobby Lobbies, at wherever. Thrift finds. You never know. And you can just keep doing the same. You could also dye your, dye your lace, too, to make it look different. You could coffee dye them or avocado dye them. And look, here's a big piece. Let's do a big piece. We'll do a big piece, you guys. So, little lace samplers. Hmm. Samples, little samples that you made yourself. Should I leave that raggedy on the end? No, I don't think so. <laughs> okay so we have this big one and and this is new this is not um no no it's not vintage i'm gonna fold this in half and i'm just gonna put this right up there like that look at that oh, how cute <laughs> i love it do i have any more oh, i have some more so we'll use this. This is pretty. And we're just gonna, here, we use some of the book page one. I'm gonna put it right on there like that. So I hope this inspires you, you guys, to make some of your own. And you don't have to just do lace. Um, you can do ribbon. You can do ribbon. You can do fabric. We'll do that. You can do ribbon, fabric, lace, but we'll just keep this the lace samples because that's what I'm doing today. <laughs> See how cute? And you can fill them in a pocket, you guys. I'll do another one. And you don't have to use such big pieces either. You could use small pieces. No one says you have to use a big piece. I'm I'm very giving, so <laughs> okay. So we'll just do you can just do a tiny little one. See that? Still looks pretty. Still looks very dainty. Um here. Do I have any fabric? Oh, let me see. I had some fabric over here. I did. Okay. I do. So, here. We can just take a piece. This is very, 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 very old. Very, very, very. But, you can just fold this up. Like this. And put it on the strip like that. And then, see? See that? Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. Here, we can do some of this cheapo. Um, <laughs> some of this cheapo velvet. <clears throat> well, actually, no. I'm not going to do it because I don't like the way the velvet... i got to sew all around it. No, no, no. <clears throat> I don't like the way the velvet all runs like that. Um, what else did I have here? Do I have anything else? I think I used all. Well, here's one I didn't use. Okay. This is newer. This is not old. This is newer. And I'm just going to use a little piece of it. There we go. And we'll just fold this over like this. Look how pretty, you guys. Oh, so beautiful. And then, what else do I have? Oh, I have this. Now, this is, guys, this is really, really vintage. This is like, has the roses done on the top there. I love it. Let's take a little piece. 
Why not? Share, share. It's only fair. Okay. Here we go. I won't use the rose on that side. I'll use that up there. We'll just use a little piece here. We'll wait. No. We'll use the little one. And we're just going to stick it right on there. Like that. How cute. And then what else do I have here? Oh, I have some trim. You guys can use um, trim too. <clears throat> You can use trim, why not? I don't know what the, where this trim came from or anything really about it. <clears throat> some things I know, some things I don't. Let's take this. And we'll put that on there like that. And we'll just go ahead and staple it. How pretty. What else? We have this one. Yeah, this one here. And we'll go ahead and cut it off. So little little samplers, you guys, lace and fabric samples. How cute. How dainty cute. Like that. And then what else? We'll have this yellow piece here. We'll use this one. And just fold it over. So I hope I inspired you to make some of your own. And these are cute to add to your books. Uh, or Happy Mail. How cute. Don't you guys think so? I do. <laughs> I'm just going to keep saying <coughs> how cute. Forever. I always say that. Um, what else do I have in here? Oh, well, I have some black, you guys. Why not? Let's mix some black in the mix. I never use it really that much. I had some ideas with it when I first got it. But we'll use this. But I just never did anything with it. I'll put that right on there like that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And we did them all. How cute. Little fabric samplers. How adorable. Or, I'm sorry, lace samplers. <laughs> and then we did some fabric too. Just to show you the diversity of it all. But look how cute. Aren't they adorable? I love them so much. They're so much fun. Alright. Oh, look at that. And we did it just in time. Okay. So, Every one of you, I hope you have a beautiful, blessed, beautiful, blessed, 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 beautiful day. Um, thank you for joining me. And I'll see you guys again soon. Hey, could you guys do me a favor? Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, you know, of course, hit the subscription bell. Because if you're joining me, you might as well join me every day and be my crafting buddy. <laughs> but if you could possibly share any videos that you like to your social media pages, maybe Facebook or um, even TikTok or wherever. If you want to just share me with your friends, possibly somebody else you know in your life would like to do some crafting or learn more. And I would love to grow my community. So I wish you all a beautiful blessed day and i'll see you guys again tomorrow for day 73 okay bye for now my crafting buddies and tomorrow you won't want to miss tomorrow's video because i'm going to show you something that's really really fun although we went over it a little bit before on one of the other videos hint hint but i'm going to show you guys tomorrow okay bye for now my crafting buddies